Five. Many people still cleaning up after that bad weather on Tuesday night. Yeah, one couple says that they lost nearly everything in their basement when it flooded. So Brittany Harry, she spoke with them and she is live now in Green Township with their story. Brittany. Well, I'm in Green Township right now because this is where that couple lives. They are both local police officers. They also have a five month old son. So this has been quite a nightmare for them, as you can imagine. And they say at this point, they really just don't know what steps forward to take. We're just going day by day. Um, we, our house is uninhabitable. Um, and like I said, uh, that's difficult on top of a five and a half month old. Um, we have to take off work. Um, our, our lives are just turned upside down. This is what Rocky and Katie Siegel's basement looks like right now. It went from being fully furnished to having to be completely gutted after it flooded on Tuesday night. The Siegels say it started with their toilets bubbling and ended with their basement filled with nearly eight feet of water. It all happened so fast, they say, giving them very little time to retrieve their belongings. I was only able to get like three trips of, of things I was just trying to grab. Um, before the water came up to the point where I couldn't uh, get anything else out of there. Not only did they lose a lot of their belongings, their furnace, AC unit, and water heaters are damaged as well. All of my woodworking tools, all my power tools, all my cards, all of our um, personal items, all the photos of my family, stuff that I've inherited from my grandma uh, is all gone. We've been here six and a half years and we've never even had an inch of water, um, so it was obviously unexpected. Um, so I was just, I just wanted to get out as soon as we could. The Seagulls have begun cleanup with the help of family, friends, and even complete strangers. Now they are working to figure out next steps as they continue to restore their home. A report of preliminary findings from the Metropolitan Sewer District of Greater Cincinnati to the Seagulls suggests the sewer backup may have been caused by a lack of capacity in the MSD public sewer. Which speaking to some of the people that have lived here over 50 years in this area, they know exactly where our line is and it runs directly off the side of our house to the MSD line. So I also reached out to the Metropolitan Sewer District of Greater Cincinnati. They responded, quote, MSD crews found that the property was served by a private sewer line that was surcharged and that the public sewer was not the cause of the backup. However, MSD went on to say that they are performing additional investigations at this location and will update the property owner of any additional findings about the private sewer line. So the Seagulls told me that they were actually going to have a plumber come out to confirm that it is a private sewer line and I actually just got a text from Katie saying that that plumber did confirm that it is MSD's line so I will be following up with MSD right now for now I'm reporting live in Green Township Brittany Harry Fox 19 now